What's up, guys? So uh, my son and I both started training in jiu-jitsu like four months ago. And, you know, we've been kind of practicing on each other at home. And it just really doesn't work out too well because he's only 10 years old. And obviously, I'm a lot bigger than him. So he and I decided to try and make our own training dummy after doing a little shopping and see how, seeing how expensive dummies are. So we also decided that we'd create this video and show everybody how we made our dummy just in case anyone else out there would like to make one as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about the supplies you'll need. The first thing you're going to need is some 14 gauge wire. The wire is going to be used to create the skeleton of the dummy. My son and I purchased 100 feet of it and it was more than enough. The second thing you're going to need is one inch pipe insulation. Uh, my son and I purchased two six foot lengths, but it wasn't enough. I'd recommend my maybe buying three six foot lengths and that way you're going to have plenty of it and don't really have to worry about running short. The third piece of material you're going to need is some carpet padding. Uh, you're going to use the carpet padding to kind of form, you know, the muscle and the, the, the shape and the size of the, uh, the training dummy. We purchased a six foot by three foot piece of carpet padding. We're a little short. Uh, we made a dummy that was five foot nine. And so maybe get a little bit more. The fourth thing you're going to need is some duct tape. Uh, we purchased three rolls of all-purpose duct tape to use to basically hold the entire dummy together. And then we purchased three rolls of heavy-duty duct tape as well. Once you have the entire dummy put together and taped up, you put the heavy-duty duct tape on the outside of it to hold it all together to make sure it doesn't split open. So the fifth thing you're going to need to make your grappling dummy is a one-gallon water jug. The uh, one-gallon water jug is going to be used to create the head of your grappling dummy. And it might seem a little obvious, but make sure you drain the water out of the jug before you make the dummy. So finally, you're going to need a few tools to make your grappling dummy. Uh, you're going to need a pair of pliers, some wire cutters, a box cutter, and a tape measure. It's really all you need. It's pretty simple. And actually, I forgot one more important supply you're going to need for making your grappling dummy. You know, having your uh, favorite beverage on hand, of course, will make it a lot more enjoyable. The first step of making your grappling dummy is making the skeleton. The materials you're going to need for this step are the wire, uh, measuring tape, duct tape, wire cutters, and pliers. First, we measured out the legs. Now, in terms of the length for everything on the skeleton, I use my own body in this example. So I measured my own legs, my own arms, and stuff like that. Once you've made the legs, you then need to make the hips. And uh, once you've made your hips, tape your legs to the hips. Now, it's also important that I mention that for every body part, I use five pieces of wire taped together in a bundle. Next, we made these coat hanger shaped um, parts. Basically what these are, these are the top and bottom of the spine. You attach one to the hips and then one to the shoulder area. The one in the hip area was smaller than the one in the shoulder area. Next, you're going to make your shoulders and arms. And again, I use my own body for making measurements for this part. And once you finish this part, you're going to want to tape it to the top of the spinal cord where you have the coat hanger shaped object. At this point, you've completed your skeleton, and uh, you know you probably just want to go through the entire thing and check it out. Make sure things are taped together appropriately. Make sure things are holding together, and you know any other place you need to add some extra tape, go ahead and add some extra tape. I don't think you can really add too much tape. It's just going to make it stronger and last longer. The second step in building our grappling dummy is adding uh, our pipe insulation to our grappling dummy. Now, when you cut the uh, pipe insulation for your grappling dummy, you want to make sure you cut separate pieces for the shins, the thighs, the forearms, and the upper arms. This will enable your grappling dummy to be able to bend when you train with it. Once you've finished cutting all the pipe insulation for your grappling dummy, uh, now you want to go through and you want to duct tape the entire thing. Uh, again, don't be afraid to use too much duct tape. You definitely want to make sure that you seal everything and that you don't have any uh, pieces of foam showing anywhere. The third step in building our dummy is adding the head. This part's really easy. Just take your water jug, stick it on top of the spine, kind of squish it down to whatever size you want, and then just duct tape the crap out of the thing so that you don't have any plastic showing anywhere. The fourth step is adding the carpet insulation. This is where you're going to go and create the size and the shape of your grappling dummy. Uh, you're going to need to cut the, the uh, carpet insulation for the lower legs, upper legs, forearms, upper arms, and chest. It really just kind of the thickness of it depends on you. All you do is you cut it, you wrap it around a certain part, and then you start taping it up. 
Once you get all the carpet insulation on your dummy, you're pretty much done at this point. Uh, the only thing that's left is to just start duct taping the crap out of your grappling dummy. Take what's left of your all-purpose duct tape and just start wrapping it around the entire dummy. Cover the entire thing. Make sure you don't have any insulation showing anywhere. And again, you can't really use too much duct tape. You probably want to throw a little extra duct tape in the hip area and the shoulder area to make sure that it doesn't tear and fall apart. Step six is more duct tape. Take that uh, heavy duty duct tape that you purchased and just start wrapping the entire thing over and over and over again. And again, you probably can't use too much duct tape at this point. It'll get a little stiffer, but it'll loosen up and it'll break in. Step seven, we're finally done with our grappling dummy. At this point, just take an old gi, throw it on there and uh, start drilling on your dummy.